Hey, what's going on, Shotty Grooms? Today, I'm not going to be doing a product review, but I got something I got to get off my chest. Something that's been eating away at me and that's been plaguing the bearded community for some time now. If you are a member of the community and you've gone through a couple of live streams of my fellow reviewers and fellow content creators, you have noticed that there has been a hidden debate within the community. Somebody will start, start it up, someone will ask the question, and then it just takes a life on its own and it goes off the rails. And someone has to pump the brakes. And I'm going to be the one to pump those brakes because my reservoir is full of brake fluid. <laughs> what am I talking about? Pineapple does not belong on pizza. I'm going to break down some facts that I found on the internet. Real quick Google searches that have back up my claims. The pineapple didn't hit England until the 1600s. And it didn't become popular until the 1700s. That's 100 years. If it takes it that long to be liked, then I'll be long dead before I like pineapple pizza. Pineapple on pizza came from Canada. That's just un-American. We can't have that here. Are you aware that one of our favorite childhood characters lives in a pineapple? How dare you take SpongeBob's home away from him? In a recent Twitter poll, out of 216 votes, 53% of the voters all agreed that pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. Well, the point of a pizza is to be shared. You sit down with your friends, you share a slice or two, have a couple of drinks, have a good time, right? Why would you put a topping on a pizza that's so controversial that it will divide the room? Pineapple and pizza is just not friendly. Not to mention Gordon Ramsay firmly believes that pineapple does not belong on pizza. And let's just face it, he's a professional. Why don't you go try and say it to his face and see what he tells you. Now there are some pros and cons to this. It's a personal feeling of mine that there are only cons to this argument. There are no pros. The only thing I'll give it is that pineapples have vitamin C in it. And if you're really worried about getting, you know, vitamin C, you know, in your diet, if you want toss, I can't even say it. I can't even say how it's beneficial. Just eat the pineapple without the pizza. You'll get the you'll get the vitamin C perfectly fine. You don't have to ruin a perfectly good pizza. The biggest argument that I can present to be against pineapple on pizza comes down to this. Tomatoes are acidic in nature. They are an acidic fruit. Pineapple is highly acidic. The more you eat pineapple, the more it starts to eat away at the tissue of your mouth. So when you put the two together, you get two things that just really start to dissolve you from the inside out. I mean, that can't be good for you. So I'd like to see some comments down below. I would like to see some arguments, some rebuttals to my statements here in this video that are not my opinions. These are facts. What side of the pie do you eat from? No pineapples? or pineapples. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. I had a good time making it. This is all purely for entertainment, even though my personal feelings is pineapple on pizza is not very good. Um, I will be returning to reviewing beard products very soon. Um, I shaved my beard. I trimmed it a little shorter than I would than I intended, but it's growing back very nicely. I've been using exclusively one product the entire growth period time. Majority of my beard product use for the regrowth has been Bard and Oils. That is the next review I'm going to be doing. That should be coming out within the week or two. Um, so look forward to that. Thank you for watching. And as always, take care of yourself and each other. Later.